Blockchain technology is bound to solve many issues that plague the Hollywood film industry. In this video, I will be examining how blockchain technology can be utilized in Hollywood to address issues of transparency, intellectual property, and fair revenue distribution. Please note that I will be explaining a lot in this video. For I do not want to assume everyone understands every word or phrase in the dictionary. There will be timestamps to skip if you do not want to hear a particular definition or explanation. So now that that has been cleared, we can begin. Understanding the blockchain. What is blockchain technology? It is a database that keeps track of transactions across numerous computers all over the world. When an entry is made, it cannot be altered or scrapped. This information remains on the block permanently. The technology allows the public to have access to the information at any moment, given the benefit of transparency. How does this technology work? It was first introduced in 1991 by scientist Stuart Haber and W. Scott Sonetta as a way to timestamp digital documents so they do not get tampered with or misdated. With the help of cryptography, the scientists developed this system, where the timestamp documents are stored in a chain of blocks, hence the name blockchain. Fast forward to 2008 when Satoshi Nakamoto formed the idea of distributed blockchain, having many parties hold a copy of the ledger, in other words, database of information in his white paper, an authoritative research-based document that presents information, expert analysis, and an organization or author's insight on a topic or solution to a problem. In Nakimoto's case, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, as we know today as Bitcoin, there are many things that can be stored in the blockchain. A lot of the times when we think of blockchain technology, our minds initially go to cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, or meme coins or coins and tokens that started off as memes, like Pepe, Shiba Inu, Doge, and thousands of other altcoins in the market. Though the blockchain is the foundation of cryptocurrency, tangible assets like house, land, car, cash, to intangible assets such as copyright, patents, intellectual property, branding, even arts, visual or oral, tangible or intangible, can be stored. So let's say land changes ownership from one entity to another, it will be recorded and we all would not have an issue where one party said that they sent the ownership and the receiver claims they did not receive it because we can see where it went, assuming it was sent to the right address. Unlike the address we use to mail things to each other, this address is cryptographic and there are no two identical ones. There are different types of blockchain networks. public private, permission, and consortium blockchains. However, today we will be focusing on public. The drawback to public blockchain network is no privacy. In this case, is a good thing. There are current issues concerning transparency in the film industry. An example can be found in the streaming data transparency issue that both the sag afr Screen Actors Guild, America Federation of Television, and WAG, Writers Guild of America, unions were fighting for since early 2023. WAGs from May 2nd, 2023 to September 27th, 2023. While SAG efforts began July 14, 2023, ending November 9th, and officially ratified on December 5th, 2023. In a Hollywood Reporter article titled Steven Soderbergh, Streaming Data Transparency, a Bigger Worry Than AI, 
touches on Soderbergh's concern with the inaccurate and untransparent feedback he got for his movie, Full Circle. Descriptive phrases like, We feel good about the numbers rather than the actual numbers. There are two potential reasons this occurs, he states. One, they make a lot more money than we know and are not willing to tell us. The other is they make a lot less money that they do not want their Wall Street investors to know. Both of which are plausible. Making a lot more money and not willing to give the adequate profit to the people who made the movie or investors who fund the project or to distribute how the profit is to be properly distributed. On the flip side, not making the money they told their Wall Street investors they made, so they do not have those investors drop them on their portfolio. While it's human nature to cut down on losses when one has continuously seen a losing streak, and to reinvest when one encounters profits. Due to the transparency and immutable record-keeping nature of the blockchain, it can help solve the transparency issue afflicting the film industry. 1. No information put in it can be changed, as said numerous times over. The data is backed up by timestamps. If configured into the streaming platforms to calculate the watch time of shows and movies, it would continuously calculate all the metrics required of it without no added human data entry. And we can accurately trace the information backed by proof. We also will be able to see the metric publicly. This would be a valuable commodity for publicly traded streaming platforms and movie networks. So investors can know and see how their money is put to use, its growth and losses. For studios, so they can give an accurate feedback on what is working for their audience and what is not, in order to know what type of projects to greenlit and what not to. For directors, to know which of their projects did well and which did not, so they can reevaluate why and have a ground system to which they accurately evaluate the quality of their work. For writers, to evaluate their work as well, to know what form of storytelling made the audience stop watching or continue watching, creating better movies for the audience. This would also be effective if an average watch time was implemented to the data collected. If it is not a publicly traded company, the use of private or permission blockchain technology can be implemented for the specific investors, producers, directors, unions, and the various non-publicly recognized categories in the film industry that are responsible for a project being aired or greenlit. Understanding Intellectual Property Before we dive into the issues of intellectual property in the Hollywood film industry, we must understand what IP means by itself. Intellectual property is a non-physical belonging that stems from, is identified as, and whose value is based on an idea or some ideas. Main types of IPs are patents, copyright, trademark, trade secrets, design, and right of publicity. Rights of publicity. The rights of all individuals to control commercial use of their name, images, likenesses, or other identifying aspects of their identity, in which every human is entitled to, to protect against the misuse of their identity for profit. Note that this is one of the issues that plagued the Hollywood film industry during the 2023 strike. Wanting to use the likeness of the actor in perpetuity slash forever without compensation slash pay. What made the issue worse is that they would not know where, how, and when their likeness would be used. Whereas the copyright law might have been one of the turning points that helped solve the AI issue for their writers. Why? For the work done by AI cannot be copywritten. This was ruled by the U.S. Federal Court in Washington, D.C. on August 18, 2023. And that is one of the ways Hollywood makes its money. Not wanting to lose that avenue, I believe that is why they dropped it. 
Having all the work done by AI in this particular scenario is neither beneficial for the networks nor the writers. Bringing that aspect of the Lord to light likely helped win that part of the case. Trademark-wise, an example. Let's say a script is written and a phrase or quote becomes popular. Studios can trademark it, so if another studio decides to use it, they'll license it out and a fee is paid. Or logos or designs, so many things can be trademarked. Also, a plus for writers who own their intellectual property. As I was researching this topic, I came across the knowledge that writers do not own their own IP and studios own them because they work for hire. Well, except your Christopher Nolan, which majority are not. In this case of intellectual properties, studios have the capacity to have the immutable digital log of the works they have, keeping track of it, and keeping track of who they license it out to. And since everything is automatically updated on the ledger, they would know who is using what, regardless of if they greenlit, archived, or tossed the writing. Yes, tossed the writing. Now, lastly, the issue of fair revenue distribution. This issue stemmed from the rise of streaming platforms as writers and actors were not compensated fairly for their work. A mini rant. I have come across places where people have written comments like, well, they get paid when they do the work. Why should they get paid after? Or they end half a million for a project and they want more? Which, by the way, those earnings are not common as much as the people making the comments believe. Even 100k is not as common. They assume that because their 9 to 5s don't pay them after they leave work, the actors, writers, producers, directors shouldn't. Little do they know that these people work at least 12 hours a day in an emotionally, psychologically, and physically demanding environment, and it's a creative-driven work with their ideas and vision in place. And to add salt into the injury, many of them do not get works for months on end, so putting that into perspective before people jumping into conclusions would be great, in order to see things through someone else's lenses. There are many lenses in the world, and it will teach us a lot. Back to the underlying issue of fair revenue distribution. With the transparency issue being solved, and having the data on how many hours on what show or movie was watched documented, however much residual percentage is agreed upon as for each contract, they can properly calculate how much each person's share is depending on how big of a part they played in the work. So the workers know, and we all are able to see on the blockchain the digital footprint. It would not be tampered with for someone else's benefit, whether they made a lot of money or lost money. Everyone benefits from this technology in one way or another. No one is left behind, neither the studios, investors, workers, or watchers. With all that being said, I still enjoy working in the film industry. No industry is without its faults. And because of this, I would not trade the experiences, meeting creatives and numerous people that have impacted my life positively just because of the flaws of the industry. So thank you for tuning in to Essay's Essay.